Okay, well, I'm here with uh, Graham Shonneville, who's seriously considering making a step up to the Honda Civic for next year. Graham, you've had a couple of seasons in a Peugeot 205 GTI. What's making you think about switching to the Civic? Yeah, Leslie, I've had uh, two years in the, the Peugeot's at 1.6 class, and I think uh, you always look for the natural progression. So, with a newer car, the Civic's a more modern car, uh, newer suspension, uh, totally adjustable power, and also keeping it at a cost-effective uh, level. It seems a natural progression. Also with the other 205s in the field, it's also very competitive, so I think that's the, the place to go for me next year. Well, there's a number of different options you had, a number of different routes you could have taken, and there's quite a few things that make a championship successful. In a Civic, you're going to be competing against a different kind of car, you're going to be competing at a different level, and pitching yourself against different opponents. So, as a competitor, what sort of things are you looking forward to seeing in the Honda Challenge? I think the main thing is uh, the cost cost of a championship. If if the cost is kept down, then it means, and it's a level playing field. It means that the, the, the competition is far greater. You, you'll get five guys at the top, or all all going to win rallies. It just makes the whole season a lot more exciting. So that's why, personally, I would I would want to do it. Liam Shonville, thanks very much, and good luck for next year in the Honda Civic.